What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is John Metzler. Today is going to be kind of easy going video. We're going to talk about the car and all the flaws that it has and the wreck and all that good stuff. But I want to introduce you to a huge special guest who is very important to me. And he told me today that he wanted to help me with this project. So with for no further ado, say hello to Caden. Say what's up Caden? What's up? What are we going to do today? Wash the car. We're going to wash the car. My car is super dirty right now. So we're going to start off this video by giving it a quick wash. Do some cleaning up on it. And then I'll show you everything that is wrong with it. What I want to change. And then uh, I'll talk about the wreck a little bit. And yeah. Throw some pictures up there somewhere. I don't know. It's going to be somewhere in there. But uh, let's start this video off by giving it a quick wash. So let's do it. So now that the car wa is washed, it looks so much better. My uh, kids decided that they wanted to help wash the car too, so that's what that's really what it's all about, man. Like, you know, most people they want to do YouTube and they just want to do it for the money, you know, which is great and all if you can if you can figure out how to do that. But for me, it's just about making memories, and I want to make memories with this car. I want to make memories with my kids, and you know, whenever I'm old and gray, and I'm trying to enjoy the rest of my life. I can look back at these videos and just see how much fun I had just making them. Not just by myself, but with my kids. So it's always great whenever your kids want to be involved in the things that you do. But uh, back into this video, what I want to talk about is the condition of this car. So I did tell you that in August of last year, I did get in a wreck. And what actually ended up happening was I was on my way back. I had just got back from my deployment. And I went to Tallahassee and um, I was coming back. It was a super rainy day and a guy cut me off. Like he just came into my lane and there was no way I was gonna stop from hitting him. So I was trying to get into the side. Um, and like I said, it was just super rainy. My back tire caught the grass and I just lost all traction. Spun out, hit a couple trees. And so uh, I'll put some pictures right here. And it really wasn't as bad as I was expecting. There was quite a bit of damage, undercarriage damage. There was some frame damage that they had to go back and tweak, but it was a nightmare trying to get this car fixed. The body shop that I took it to, I'm not gonna say names because they, they're still trying to do me right, but they didn't do that great of a job. And uh, I've taken, to them, taken it back twice now and uh, I just don't see how you can send it back the way they did. Uh, so here's a little bit of what's still wrong with it from what I've noticed. Um, but hopefully we can get that resolved later on as uh, I'm still waiting to get back in the shop. So as you can see, maybe, which you should be able to see, this gap right here on the fender and hood is just way too big. So if you, if you notice this one, on the passenger side and then the gap on this they do not line up at all and it seems to be that it's the whole right side of the car because Mama. this gap on the trunk is massive and this one is I don't know if you can see because my car is wet but it was scraping there a little bit before I adjusted it and I just don't see how you can send a car back out like it was this whole piece the GT symbol whenever I got it the first time it just fell off completely all the screws or all the bolts were not on the screws um, and it just 
just fell out. Um, the gaps right here, they're way off. But uh, my daughter's walking around trying to be involved. But um, yeah, so just basically a lot of the body gaps were just not aligned properly, which is no big deal. Um, you pay to get it done and then it doesn't get done, so that's kind of a pain. But the car drives, it drives straight, and that's the biggest thing. And like all that stuff I can fix, it was just, you pay the body shop to do it, you expect them to do it. So we're still trying to get that done with them and um, they've been they've been okay to do with ever since uh, we had a little bit of a discussion but that's besides the point as you can see it is completely dark outside I just had an issue I had to take care of but everything is good now but before I end this video I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who watched my last video whether you watched it all the way through you accidentally clicked it whatever the case may be it was extremely encouraging for me to see the views and the watch hours, it was way better than I was expecting for a video I just kind of threw together over the, you know, over a few days. But that's what I love about YouTube. Like the platform is amazing. And that's one thing I love about the YouTube or the car community on YouTube. It just seems to be one of those things that sticks together in a lot of ways and support each other and encourage each other. So if y'all have any suggestions or if you just want to drop your, uh, your channel down in the comments anything like that that would be amazing because i'd love to check you out and uh, see what you guys are building but if you have any suggestions that you want to put down about a 5.0 um, build that you've done or that you know of like i said drop it in the comments because i'd love to see it or hear about it because honestly that's what it's all about is helping each other out and learning from each other so again i thank you guys so much and i hope y'all have an amazing day amazing week and keep pushing forward no matter what you're doing enjoy it and love it so i'll see y'all in the next video because we're going to be tearing some stuff apart and replacing it with better parts so see y'all in the next one